freaking like don't cut my system off yo oh crap i gotta start all over <laughs> Yo, is you kidding? After five years on the East. Are you freaking kidding me? Bruh. Bruh. Bro, are you kidding me? Bro, is you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Where am I leaving? You gotta be joking, man! I gotta start this game all over? Oh my god! I gotta beat that train mission again. Oh no, wait, because I probably had cheated last time. That's why I didn't save. I, I see what you're doing, PlayStation. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Anyhow, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Derek, aka Jacarnate, too. Yo, welcome to the first episode of Derek at the Dark. As you guys see, all thanks to PlayStation screwed me over. Like, bruh. So you tell me I gotta play this game without cheating. Nah, son, homie don't play that. Like, come on, man. Do you realize I just got finished with this freaking Yo, I'm mad. I'm I'm heated, dog. I'm heated. I'm heated, bro. Anyhow, we gonna uh yeah, we gonna share that. Shout out to the notification squad, shout out to the first person that's in this video. Uh welcome. So, here's what I like to do. We're going to do, um, we're going to play this game, and then we're going to play Sleeping Dogs. Pray to God that I don't play this game within the next year, and my save data is gone. Oh, my God. That, that reminds me. GTA 3 save data is gone, too? Oh, bro. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Like, y'all really jiving right now. Y'all really jiving. <laughs> Anyhow, um, dang, I'm on the wrong app. I meant to put it on my Snapchat. Um, there we go. No, turn that, turn that, look, turn that, turn that other way. Okay. Turn it the other way. Yes, can I, can I type it? There you go. Can I type it? There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so now we, now we cool in the gang. No Hollywood swinging, whatever. So if y'all, if y'all coming from my Facebook live feed, y'all is like literally the real MVPs on that. Y'all can see the Derek Vision. So shout out to everybody that sees the Derek Vision. So, this is what we're going to do in the first episode. I'm going to introduce myself, and I'm going to tell you about what's the show all about, because pretty much, and I lost a friend for some odd reason. Oh, well, that sucks on them. But pretty much, we're going to share everything. Um, Oh crap, we got a text message. Um Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Start live video. Okay, we starting up in here. We start from the bomb, now we here. Started from the bomb, now the I don't know what the heck. Okay, there we go. All right, let's put this right here. There we go. All right, so, like I said, this show is about what's going on in the news this week, what is 
pretty much what's going on in my life. Was like basically what like this is like a chill stream. We we love to like have people here stopping by, um, giving y'all Q and A's. So here's the thing. Every single week, I will post up a poll on my Shinji Guy Game Twitter. And if anybody follows my other Twitter account, the secret Twitter account, the NSFW Twitter account, I'm going to post the poll over there as well. And anybody that's watching on my Facebook feed, they're going to like also get the question as well. So, pretty much... Everybody is like could be all one bunch circle and then we we'll have we'll have one big happy family. See me now. Now we have for the show schedule the introduction of myself. Then we're gonna have the game releases of this week. Then we're gonna have entertainment talk and sets. I'm gonna have to present to y'all two reality checks because I'm gonna have to roast two people. Part one before the 30 minute um, intermission, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in at 50 cent, and then that'll be in. that be in a part one. Part two, we gonna continue with more Q and A. If y'all wanna send some questions, leave it in the comments description below. Leave it in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. But make sure to turn that restriction mode off so that you definitely get notified. After we go for more QA, I will give y'all the question of the week. Then I'll give you the Instagram or Twitter hottest person of the week. So I'm doing one for I'm gonna do one for the guys and then one for the girls and the reality check part two, I'm going there on Tila Tequila. That's going to be in part two. And then the last word is like my closing remarks and such. So that's all we got for today. Um, pretty much, we're going to be chill back here. We're going to play some GTA San Andreas. We're going to be still on somebody's bike. And... Oh, pedal down is excellent. Yo, I'm... Okay, there we go. God, this has been so long. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know why we... I don't know why we um, got a... Ooh. I'm a prostitute lady. <laughs> yeah, shout, shout out to Kasha for joining on the uh, Facebook camera. What's up, Kasha? How you doing? Long time no see she left. All right, so... So what you do street. about me is oh. that at least it was uh, before I fucked everything up. Ah oh, crap, I don't have the subtitles on. I gotta put the subtitles on. Yeah, there we go. Cut the brightness on, subtitles on, widescreen off. Oh, oh, yeah. Put that widescreen off. Yeah, there we go. Come easy playing. That mess up my favorite part. Girl Street. Home. At least before I was screwed everything up. Big smoke, big smoke, hey, big smoke, big smoke. <laughs> so, pretty much, who am I? You want to drive? Yes, I want to drive. I just got out of the rain dropping, all right? <laughs> Name's Derek, age 25. I'm a cancer, so, yeah. To, and to everybody that's all cancer out there, y'all the real MVPs. Yes, we may be soft, but we kind of like... Aggressive inside, like, Ugh, you mess with us, then yeah. Um, also, I am. Oh, drive by, incoming. incoming. Yes. Oh, motherfucker, <laughs> so, pretty home, much, Grab a bike and pedal. I and am so happy that. to do this. Follow my um, lead. follow me, get on the bike. Oh, crap, gotta, yeah, I have to enter the code. I have to enter the code. I got to enter the code. I'm Take sorry. back some, huh, CJ? Yeah. There we go. Things has changed around here. CJ, watch your back around here, man. How I get so bad? I thought this was family's turn. Dang, man, what was the code? L -A -L -A 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 oh, crap! 
they still shooting? Crap. Still shoot you. The cop is right there. Oh my god, introvert controls. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna shoot them somehow. Oh, I got a rocket launcher. play this game. Where the heck is the oh this cop is shooting me? Hold up, hold up, I gotta kill this guy. I gotta kill this guy. Shit, the Polish car is onto us. Split up. Keep, Keep up, up, motherfucker. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fail this mission for the very first time. Oh my god, get on the freaking bike! This is what I get for not playing with freaking mods. I know I'm far away from riders. Chill! Y'all got me doing this crap, yo. I'm like right near rider. Oh crap, I went to the wrong area. Um So yeah, I'm 25 years old. I'm I'm a pan guy. Just a I'm a single pan CJ. guy. Why you bother coming back? And I'm pretty much shy um, to the point that to I get a little bit nervous around everybody. I'm not going over there. Jump down here. Jumping out the window. Come over here. Yes, I know the whole entire route by myself. So, so yeah, we do. Oh, God. Yo, we do. God, I'm about to get killed. Thank you. Did he die too? Yes. Thank God he died. Oh my God. Shouts to Amanda for jumping in the squad. Move out my way, Ryder. I know the cops is following us, but golly. So pretty much like I said, before I was brutally interrupted by some ballers. Oh, God! Get back on the freaking bike! Bruh, I can't believe I lost the event. Little mom. Yo, mama. Thank you. I got with them motherfuckers, though. So, dude, little gangster. Ryder. Ryder. <laughs> so, when you leaving, Carl? 
Oh, God, sure. this game. Not on my Anyhow, I played this game too, way too much. Up. All right, so pretty much. The last thing we need to show him. Um, ah, man, I won't let you down. I swear. I am a guy hey, that loves, loves anime, up. loves you video something? games that you can I see. I got a whole lot going on. Um, I'm tired. I catch you I mean, shout out to, hey, yo, you know, we all hanging out. everybody who, like, is in my, who's been Chill, in my room and everything. Get so. some colors, fool. Yeah, not only and that, I got Some like a lot of cool anime movies, you. like the 25th anniversary of Akira. And I came from ALA, cosplayed as Tetsuo, by the way. Um, I know I gotta go to CJ's house, but you know, I'm changing the control, bro. Yeah, vehicle. Yeah, it's vibrations on. Oh, why am I freaking. On foot, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, why is it? Oh, I can't adjust the control. Okay, whatever. Uh, damn, I do like um weapon level two. And I gotta put infinite to health, all that other crap in there. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, left that right up, left that right up. There you go. She has All right, I'm gonna save this game again. Yes, I know. I'm gonna put this on two because apparently somebody didn't want to save. Save successful. All right, so pretty much, I've been through so much stuff as of recently, but I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. I'm doing beautiful, love, and bless. Love. I'm all about positivity. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Sometimes I'm kind of like you. I'm kind of like that, but. You know, sometimes y'all don't wanna. Oops, y'all wanna pull me out of my element, y'all know. You know. No, no. Uh, 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 left down, right up, left down, down. There you go. Left down, right up, left down, down, left. Uh, 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 left down, right up, left down. Yeah, there we go. And how all the guys that's like Hitman and everything. Oh, yes! Although I hate this mission. Hey, show me how they drive on the East Coast, homie. Hey, O'Ree still run the barbershop? Like a raggedy ass motherfucker. Oh, uh, years uh, ago. The way I let that old fool in my head. Yeah, I think I'll get cut up. Whatever. You got five, five minutes. Five minutes. I'll be cutting you like a DJ. DJ. So when you running off again? I'm not. I'm thinking of staying. Why? My family. The homies is here. We yeah, were almost whatever. here, fool. Yeah, but now I'm back. And I know what I've been missing. Don't expect me to kiss your ass a nut. Whatever, huh? Whatever. Anyhow, yeah. I ain't saying much because, you know, it's like literally my first episode. I'm, like, kind of a little bit nervous. But other than that, it's been 18 minutes. So let's just jump in with the whole releases. You know what? Let's get the Jericho. Just let your soul go. Haircut. Yes. Baby. Baby. Draws look like diapers, yo. I swear. You know something? I take it back. Old Reese still got it cracking. He on a big, huge blunt, yo. Man, what's this? Oh, my mama, like, this shit for look real. ridiculous. Anyhow, um, for the hood. all right, so here's the new releases of this entire week. Shout out to Diane I'm Rodriguez for joining. Um, for this in. Tuesday, oh my god, the graphics are so bad in 4K. I don't know why. Um, the new releases for this this upcoming Tuesday is the Life is Strange Before the Storm DLC, and um, it's the farewell episode. It's gonna be like I think like an hour long, I guess. And not only that, 
it's also going to be and it, they're also going to release the limited edition now the only way you buy the limited edition is like going to GameStop they selling it for 40 bucks you can get the soundtrack but everywhere else they sell it for $30 without the soundtrack I'm the type of guy all thanks to so called well the what's it called is going to be well CDs is starting to be obsolete so pretty much I'm going to like at least get the CD version the CD soundtrack version done I'm buying two copies one for the one. Xbox this one and Liar. one for PS4 again. Ain't me, fool. No now that small. I feel sorry other than that Square Shit, Enix is going to be Let's very busy in. with another no re-release. Um, dang, this dude look bad in four. Oh, oh shit, crap! Run. Um, what's it called? This pizza parlor's no pushover. Get your stupid ass moving. Oh. Huh? What? Try to tell me you ain't no pushover. I got that. <laughs> I vote with you float though. Let's roll. What you waiting for, fool? <laughs> Take us back to the grove, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm taking you back to the grove. So yeah, other than that, another re-release is also happening, and that is Final Fantasy 15, the Royale Edition. Yeah, and I just recently brought the Platinum Edition. On Christmas Day for thirty dollars. So and check this out. There is no standalone DLC for anybody who's gonna have the Royale Edition. Only Square Enix has a final say so when they Better drop, drop it, possibly on Tuesday. If they don't drop it on Tuesday, well, guess too. what, y'all? Later, homie. Y'all might have to pay fifty, forty to fifty dollars, whatever how much this game is gonna cost you. And I'm not happy about that either. So don't worry, y'all. Y'all not alone. But other than that, um, those are going to be the game releases for this Tuesday. Not only that, I don't have any, what's it called? I don't have any schedules for album releases. So before I get to more, before I get to more details about, um, before I get to more details about album releases and such, like more episodes happening, then we can talk about album releases. So, yeah. Oh, and another thing I want to add to the show is that we are going to be talking about movie reviews and such. Movie and album reviews and such. So, let's pause the game. I keep on hitting options, but. So let's pause the game right here. Um, I know I got my stuff ready. I'm very unprepared sometimes. And this is like one of these things I'm unprepared. So, my very first review, and I'm doing this on this show, is Black Panther. And I have to say, I'm doing a movie review of Black Panther, and I'm doing a album review of the Black Panther soundtrack. Now, let's let's take a break from gaming for one second. We're going to talk about the Black Panther album and how the movie was also awesome. I might add. So here's the thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of guy to give you spoilers unless if the movie is bad. And I'm saying like, oh yeah, but well don't go see it. Like it's it's bad. Like it's trash and everything else. But I have to say this album and the movie is so far one of the greatest things I've ever seen so far this year. And we're in the month of March. I saw it. I saw it last Saturday when I was off, and. The 3D special effects was top notch. I haven't seen a 3D movie as like graphically enhanced and the special effects visuals were so great like Ghost in Shell. 
And Ghost in the Shell is another good 3D movie and I really, really, really love. Um, I feel like nine times out of ten, you know, my eyes could it like, cause I like I wear glasses and I just like put the 3D lens over my regular glasses, so it took me a while to adjust it. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna get eye surgery or whatever, but when you gonna take that long to adjust your eyes while watching a 3D movie? That's pretty bad, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him kudos for I'm not gonna dot him down for that score for that movie at all. So it's not like that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that at all. So yeah. Other than that, the movie the story the storyline was actually amazing. It's like one of the greatest storylines in a Marvel movie. Next to the very first Spider-Man movie and the very first Avengers movie, and just like is almost and it's like the very first Fantastic Four movie. Those are great storylines, but the way that the movie has ended, it was kind of like okay, you somewhat expected something and. If you guys haven't seen Captain America Civil War, I suggest you watch that. Before you watch Black Panther, so you get the ending a little bit. That's all I got to say. It's not, it's not a humongous spoiler alert or anything like that. But I'm saying Captain America Civil War and Black Panther is like, you know, they tie, they can tie up the story together so well. So, there's two scenes... There's two scenes after the, there's one scene before the main credits and there's, there's a scene after the main credits. Um, and after the main credits, you will understand why I say, okay, go out and see it because you'll get the, um, because you'll get the reference what I just said about it, but it's not majorly spoiling the ending or anything like that. And uh, it's not like nothing major spoiler. But you'll get the end a little bit more if you watch Captain America Civil War. That's all I got to say. Because I'm not going to spoil you what happened to Captain America Civil War or anything like that. But that's how you, that's the only way you can get, that's the only way you can get the ending. The, the other scene of the credits, after the credits. So, yeah. It's not majorly spoiling anything, but yeah. Um, another thing is... Killmonger was like one of the best Marvel Marvel villains hands down. It's like kind of remind me of Slate mixed with Vegeta and Michael B. Jordan. As always, he always like every every role he touches. Like I always freaking love this dude. Like Michael B. Jordan, he's like he needs to win an Oscar one day. That's all I gotta say. Like come on, he he gotta win an Oscar one day. One day or someday, like, at least let him win an Oscar. Let him, you know what? I don't know why I'm not. Like I'll say, let him win an Oscar someday and pretty much, you know, you get, like, you know, you get, like, the same respect about him or whatever. Um, Shouts to that one person who's still watching. Because <laughs> I think everybody on my Facebook feed left. That sucks. So pretty much, um, Michael B. Jordan as a villain. I never thought that I'll ever see the day as him playing a villain. But yo, he freaking nailed it. And you got, you know, he has so many stars in the movie, and I really love it. I mean, you got Miss Shawn from The Walking Dead in that movie. It was so much. There was so many people in that movie I really loved. So you got Forrest Whitaker, you got Angela Bassett, and you know you got Michael B. Jordan, you got Chad Bosman. Wait, was it Chad Bosman? Get in, nigga. Hey, I'm trying to talk to him. Really, bro? You you really gonna do that? Wait, was it Chad Bosman? Wait, who was it? Got my phone right there. You know what? Yeah, yeah, it was Chadwick Rosman. 
Was it Shia LaBeouf? No, that wasn't my. What the heck? Bro, who was in that movie? And I gotta disrupt the Facebook news feed. And yeah, Chatter 4 is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna start that series soon we get in Chatter 3 done. Black Panther Sound. Was that Chadwick Brosman? Oh, that was. No, that wasn't Chadwick Brosman. Yeah, that was Chadwick Brosman. That was right. Chadwick Brosman, you know, I never thought that Chadwick Brosman is like. I never thought, you know, Chadwick Bosman was, like, going to be a good actor at first because, you know, he played 42, then he played James Brown. I mean, he played, he played Jackie Robinson to James Brown, and I took him seriously as an actor after the James Brown movie. But the 42 movie, he's like, it was kind of like, it kind of made it feel like it's a little bit bland. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's a bad actor or anything like that. It was like, I just didn't feel that, you know, he had that touch. But when he played Black Panther, I actually liked him. What? Oh, oh, my God, these girls are so stuff. bad. I can't know. Wait till I change the game. Oh, my God. Um, You know. <laughs> There's another two ball attack in the hood. You go get him, and I'll keep the engine running. Hey, they be looking. They be looking. Hold up. God, these graphics are so bad. Are you playing this on a 4K TV, Derek? Oh, God. So, yeah. I'm waiting for that cop to pass by. Can I spray? Oh, circle. Okay. Get back to the sweet scar. But, yeah. Other than that, the soundtrack is actually pretty good. Come on, let's cruise in the ballers' territory. Yo, we gonna do a drop on? Johnny, he's lost Santos. Ooh, hold up. But other than that, I kind of feel like. You hit this up here, and I'll go up and do another hood. Other than that, I feel like Black Panther is like a movie. It's gonna be the movie of the year if it's good or whatever. Oh, I'm trying to wait till a cop pass by. What the fuck? You cool now, huh? Get that fool! <laughs> What's wrong, you asshole? Oh crap! 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 Oh crap, the cops is right there! Woo! There we go. One level got off. Okay, good. So basically, basically I feel like the Black Panther movie was, I'll give it a five. I give it a five out of five. Cause how I rate my movies is like I'm giving it like five flame emojis out of five, pretty much. It's, it's a really good movie. And I I think everybody should go out and watch it. It's a very good movie just to start off with if you're not like familiar with the Marvel movies. But other than that, Get us back to the hood, CJ. Yo, he can actually. You know, well, the three balls like that. <laughs> but I feel like everybody should go out and watch this movie, Black Panther. I was, I had to, you know, give it a step. You idiot! Just go, just go out there and watch it. There's like so much emotion that you'll get. I mean, some scenes that it'll make you cry, some scenes that make you say, like, yeah! yeah. Comes, but other than that, Black Panther, the movie is actually know. good. Now, took for the paper, soundtrack, however, small change. Hey, get yourself a beer or something. 
Yeah, 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 I know. Black Panther, the soundtrack, however. Check that out. I got it when it was on sale. I think $2 less, if I'm not mistaken. I got this one that was like 10 or $11, and it's a really cool album. I'm not a huge fan of the saw choices, but he listens like two to three times. He feel like, oh, that's how the that's how the soundtrack was going. Now, there's only three songs off this entire album that was played in a movie, which was "All the Stars," "Pray for Me." It ops. Which, honestly, I'm very surprised they did not play the rest of the soundtrack in the movie. But honestly, they should have played Bloody Waters and Redemption and Seasons and The Ways on the, on the movie as well. Not so much for Paramedic, because <laughs> honestly, Paramedic sound like awesome gang stuff. Like, dang, I've been playing Paramedic, like, for days. And, oh my god, like, imagine I had a BMW right now cruising to that song Paramedic. Oh, and everybody that's been on my Snapchat, they saw, uh... They saw me posted it up on Snapchat a few days ago, me listening to Paramedic. I gotta say, it's one of the best rap songs I ever heard this year. If not the best rap songs I ever heard this year alone. I honestly thought DJ Mustard produced this track, but it, it wasn't DJ Mustard. So let's, like, I think, I think Kendrick produced it. Let's just see who did it. Let's go to the book one. DJ Dodd, Soundwave, and Q-Beat. So, we, we thought, you know, DJ must have produced it because the way that the beat sound is almost like a DJ must be, especially the piano chords in the middle of the song. Yo, I had to say, I was like literally, was on my way to work when that song came on. I'm like, bruh. I hit that, I hit the freaking back button number of times listening to that song and I was like, yo, and I, and, and a fun fact about Paramedic is Michael B. Jordan's favorite song off the album. So pretty much this, this song speaks volumes. And like this song need to be a freaking single. I was, like I'm dead serious. And I read somebody in the comment section saying like, "Oh, well, it's kind of funny that you know Disney funded this song." And I'm like, I don't know if they funded the song or anything like that, but I don't know. Like if you if you were a gang, you want to like chill out and do anything like that, you know, gang stuff like listen to Paramatic. It will say you like Dr. Joking. <laughs> so, yeah. Paramedic got me the highlight of the album. I wouldn't say much for the first two songs, All the Stars, Black Panther. X, The Ways, yes. Ops, meh. Like, I kind of liked Ops at the beginning when I first got the album, and it's like, this started getting boring. But then the beat, the beat going in the third verse is like, okay, good. I Am is actually like a deep song. And I have to say, I Am is like a very good song off this album. Paramedic, I just explained it to you. Bloody Waters, screaming, we go make like two thirds of the locks. With it. Like, like whoever said that line, I'm thinking Absol said that. Absol, you the real MVP for that one. And then, um, Edison Park is like crazy, but Absol 
lost his mind on that record. Like, yo. It, it's, a, it's a very cool thing. Key's Dead by J-Rock, Kid and Lamar, Future, and James Blake. And I lost my viewer. Crap. I have to say... It's a really cool... It's a really cool song, but then it got born easily. But then at the end of the song, they had a song, Paramedic. Not Paramedic. Red light, green light, red light, green light, fast cars. I kind of feel like... Oops, I cut my camera off. <laughs> you my accident. Okay, there we go. Can I charge my controller now? There we go. Alright, so... Redemption is kind of like... Another cool song that you also could listen to, but I know they're gonna play that on the radio. Seasons. It's kind of like kind of conscious rap to it and everything, but it makes you feel like what is going on in the world today. I like that type of song like that. Big Shot was kind of like a hit and miss. Carl, and pray Hernandez. for me is something. Ooh. Officer Hernandez, I work with Tenpenny and Pulaski. Oh, the bit. So I would say pray for me is kind of like a, eh, kind of good or bad song, but the way to edit off the album. Bros are dope, man. They to edit off the album with that, it's like, come on, man. I wanted something a little bit more than that, you know. But hey, I would say it ended up with it ended up with Pray For Me is kind of like a little bit of a letdown, but I kind of feel like, okay, well, to help you out. this had a reason One just to end off the album. Apart from smoke, and, sleep, and you know yours truly. Rose Street don't bang no more. And it's like, yeah, okay, just well, get blown. that's it. But I honestly kind of feel like that song, I mean, that whole entire album was like Kendrick's last album, which was this. Yeah. This album right here is a freaking classic. But when Kendrick has it, okay, you know what? I'm dropping this album in three months. And I hope y'all, in, in three to two months, and I hope you guys enjoy it. He didn't, waste his, he didn't waste his time on it, so. Wait, what the heck? Three, six, one, one, ten. Wait, hold up. Do you see, I just realized it got serial numbers in the back. Like, oh, which version? Who, who picked that up? Just doing this to help my man get back on his feet. I don't know. But other than that, you know, it's kind of like a cool, it's kind of like a cool album. So, everybody that loves the movie Black Panther, go get it. Go get this album. But if you're a huge rap fan, buy this album. I would give it at least a Hey, partner, I'm working, man. What you need? What you need, dog? Dog, I got quality shit right here. Yo. Yeah. Well, I got quality of this. Got quality of that. A hole in your head. <laughs> Man, I know this cat. He a punk used to run with a front yard. Yeah, stop him out, bro. Stop him out. Hey, Bop. Okay, let's go. Over there. Uh uh. Hey, oh, Fabo right there. Hold up. But yeah, I'll give Black Panther the side check. Come on, man. Keep up. And where is the heck is Ryder? Look at Friday trying to freaking walk on a hey, sidewalk like he ain't jaywalking. Man, you can smell a crack den a mile away. Yeah, let's That's shoot we and introduce ourselves. That's why we walking. <laughs> but yeah, other than that. Good afternoon, boy. Ten out of ten. Oh, somebody do. Hey, somebody do the bud that get that. Oh, here you go. Fuck them Grove Street fools. Grove Street nope. going down. You gonna ninja these oh, where the hold up? Fuck out of here. Oh. 
Let's kill you. You kill you. Sawed off shotgun. And I got two stars on me. Where that girl at? Okay, did you a favor? Let's get up out of here. We ain't got no freaking car. You ain't got no. <laughs> oh. Now, Paul is no oh! Families on their way back up. Hey, yo, still the bike, still the bike, still the bike. Go, 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 go. Show, homie. And what's more, you ain't run out on me. Time's changed. Oh, man, they gonna be mad at us. And I'll warn the gang later. Oh! For now, let's just bask in the silence of victory, motherfucker. Yeah, bask in the silence of victory. Oh, my God, this game is so grainy on my TV. They escaped <laughs> now that the base ain't getting pushed up in their faces, <sighs> maybe these fools should be up for some real bang. Yeah, Grove gonna get back on his feet now for sure, though. Why is Stay he circling home. around the corner? <laughs> oh, he doing drive-bys that yo, I'm good, homie. Hey, get back in the house. Get back in the house. All right, hey guys. Okay. On to the next subject here. We gonna be talking about some reality check time. All right, so everybody, all rise. We gonna be talking about Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson as the very first person that nominate for this segment of the show now called reality check. Hey, man, My question doing? is, bruh, out of everybody. Out of your, all your rivals, excuse me, the one he has the most problem with is Ricky Rose. Now, I'm not the type of guy that would go after for revenge, but I would say, do unto others as they do unto you. You know what I'm saying? So, why? I repeat, why would you go out or would you go on social media and make fun of a guy? That is like literally clinging for his life. Now, see, you don't you don't have people that like make fun of you when you when you got shot nine times. Why did you have to go out and make fun of a guy that I understand that you don't like that you know is your sworn enemy because his baby mama sued you after you leaked out that sex tape and then ultimately won the court case. Why would you do that? Why why would you do that, Fifty? Like, bruh, my respect for you has literally went out the window. Like, I deleted all of my 50 Cent albums that I had yesterday. And I was literally about to play Get Rich or Die Trying in the car the other day. But something told me not to do it. Because I still have to, like, I'm still, like, kind of two weeks behind with my music. So far, I'm playing all the Death Row classics because of the Death Row Chronicles. And I just got finished with the Prince Trilogy, so 50 Cent was like next in the line. We get rich and die trying because we're going to celebrate his anniversary. The thing about it is, is that I decided not to celebrate his anniversary of his album. And I decided to delete all the music that I have. On this album, I'm trying to figure out why did he put 30 to 36 110 on this. Is that the real number, or that's just like I don't know. I'm gonna check that out. But anyhow, um, like I was saying, 50 Cent, you should have never made fun of a guy that's dying. Okay, making fun of this able person is one thing, and that is not, and that's also not cool. You make fun of this able person. Or you made fun of a person that has autism. That's not freaking cool in my book. Like, you definitely lose my respect for that. And you're going to make fun of somebody who is actually dying? How freaking dare you have the audacity to do that? I would say your career is, like, taken. And all you can do is your show on Star's Power. Which, honestly, is a good show, by the way. But I guess I'm about to skip out this season as well. Bad enough... I lined up your games to play in an upcoming series I wanted to do 
called Buried Treasure Games and then Buried Garbage Games. And it was going to be on the first week called Hood Games. Now, I've decided to pull out of that idea because you're acting like a spoiled brat. We were rooting for you when you was like literally down and out. When you was actually going to the judge and saying, yo, I'm broke. But then now, here you are making fun of a person on Instagram that is clinging for his life. Do you realize I listened to Rick Ross more when he first came out? And now, right there, you, like, what was your last hit? Baby Bought Me was like, what? 2009, 2010? Here you are, like, what, 2018, and still ain't got no hits, but you in movies and such. You in movies with Ice Cube's son and such, you know, and everything. And, and, I, and I applaud you for that, you know? O'Shea Jackson Jr. is a good actor, by the way, because he did play his daddy role. Well. But you gonna go out and make fun of somebody because they dying? Bruh, I can't, I can't, I can't, like, I'm not gonna condone you. I would never respect the man that wished a death upon somebody. You know, and say, oh yeah, if he dead, if he's dead, he's dead. Like, like you that Russian dude from Rocky IV, man. Go get some booty for that one, like, for real, 50. I'm sorry, dude, but you really need to get a reality check because, honestly, power can help you for so long, but everybody's cleaning the house. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Excuse me. But, honestly, dude, I feel like 50 need to get a reality check on everything. So... Pretty much, all I gotta say, 50, is you need your crap together, bro. There's nine times out of ten, ain't nobody gonna be cheering you on and saying, like, oh, yeah, you're this, you're that, and everything. Oh, 50, you know, play your greatest hits or whatever. It didn't make you feel relevant again. I'm sorry, dude, but they ain't gonna make you relevant again. Now, if you're willing to actually work on your career and saving yourself before it's too late, then do that. But again, don't make fun of a man's misfortune because he's clinging for his life. Because honestly, I'm gonna respect you. Not only that, nobody will respect you, even if you do that. But they just on, I guess. That's definitely reality check for you. Now, for example, honestly, after I end that reality check, I would say prayers go out to the whole entire um, Rick Ross family. Prayers go out to the whole Maybach music group. They going through a rough time right now. Rick Ross, we pray for you, man. Get well soon. Godspeed. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go for a 30-minute intermission because my battery at 25% on the Facebook feed. So we're going to go back for 30 minutes, then we're going to do another hour. Now, while, while I'm gone, which I'm going to be leaving in like two minutes because it's 12.58, we're going we gonna to shut it down at 1. And then we're going to come back from 2 to 2.30. We're going to come back from like at least another hour or so. I want y'all to do me a favor. If y'all watching this and y'all been in this episode for a long time. I want y'all to do me a favor. Get your questions ready, please. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make up a question for the question of the week. So I hope y'all guys keep that in mind as well. I'll be right back in 30 minutes because I'm going to eat me some Chinese food. I'm going to get my grub on. And we're going to be talking. I know I've been talking on this live stream and everything, but I think I have to put the headphones on so I can, like, easily, you know, just play the game and then have my headphones on instead of doing all this stuff. But 
Other than that, I'll see you. I'll see y'all in 30 minutes. Time for intermission. Let's go.